All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Moo. Um, I'm not gonna lie; it's been a little bit of a while. Um, oh shoot! I'm trying to use the right stick to look around. Um, I have no idea what we did last time because it has been at least a week, maybe two. Um, well, we did Snowhead. I know that much. Um, yeah, we did Snowhead. Doesn't look doesn't look like we did anything else. So, I guess now we're gonna go to Great Bay. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. We are gonna go to Great Bay. I remember now. Okay, so. I told y'all last time that you technically need the horse in order to get over that barrier over there. But you can do it another way. I need to be a Goron. Get this guy's attention. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yeah, follow me. You're gonna want to keep this guy in range until you get to that, that fence over there. Um, thankfully, as a Goron, you can't actually kill him he'll just kind of wobble but the levers can come on bud we're going on a field trip you're not going with me part of the way but we're going on a field trip Apparently they don't attack you if you don't start walking towards them. Okay, that's good to know. This one always does. Yeah, giving him harvest. Man, get out of here. Okay, so once he's close enough, curl, pound, and let him hit you in the air. It takes a little bit of doing. There we go. Just like that, you're over the hump. You can get to Great Bay early. First thing you want to do is don't go in the water as a Goron because you will drown because Gorons can't swim. Second thing you want to do is go to this platform out here and activate the owl statue so that we don't have to do all that stupid stuff again. And you just work here. Third thing you want to do, swim on over this way. Um, this guy, uh, somebody, please get me to shore. All right, buddy. This guy, um, depending on what day it is, he will be further out into the water. Like if it was the first day, he'll be closer to shore. Um, and then if it's the final day, he will probably be out towards the. Uh, area boundary. And then there's there's a glitch that I've been wanting to do for the longest time with this guy. But I can never seem to do it. Ah, there it goes. <laughs> oh my gosh. You can only do this you can only do this in the N64 version of the game. <laughs> But if you get him close enough to shore and get the right angle, sure enough, you can pick this guy up and then just walk around with him. <laughs> you can talk to him at any time. 
and we slowly turn. <laughs> We're a pretty ballerina. Uh, buddy, we're on shore. I'm gonna just I'll throw you. <laughs> Whoops, let me do that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Where is he? Oh, is he right there? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, I can't just play the song. Okay. I may have goofed this. I may have goofed this. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where'd you go? Where are you? Oh, you're right there. No, that's not the song. He's not even doing the doo 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 doo. Nope, okay. Okay, I think I goofed this. I gotta. Let's see if we can reload the area by doing this. <laughs> but that's that's probably one of the best things in this game. Oh, man. All right, is he back? Yeah, he's back. Okay. <laughs> so, pro tip. Don't throw him. <laughs> yeah, I know. Get for sure. Alright, we'll do it the right way this time. Ah, that's so funny, though. But this guy's gonna be our ticket to the next transformation mess. Getting up and walking to shore. Even though I'm probably just gonna cut it for you guys. Now you can talk to him, get his story, main gist of it. Um his band partner, the singer of the Indigo Goes, Lulu has been struck with a I don't I want to I want to say it's a curse but her eggs were stolen which left her mute so he's trying to get them back that's not the same there we go Got the Zora mask. You see, he didn't have the body of Zora, yada yada yada. Okay. 
set up a little grave with his guitar. Oh, nope, that's the wrong one. <laughs> but, I'd say the N64 version of this mask is the superior version. Why do I say that? Because in Zora form, whenever you're in water, you can hold A to do a fast swim. You can also press R to do an electrical attack that uses magic. In the 3DS version of this game, they changed it to where this swimming is slower. You will swim like a normal human being. Um, but you need to use magic in order to do the fast swim. It is stupid beyond recognition. <laughs> I think that is a ridiculous change that they made. But that's my opinion. But anyways, here we are in the Pirate's Fortress, I believe. Maybe Pirate's Den. Um, I forget the official name for it. You don't want to be caught by these guys, obviously, but you can use arrows to knock them out. Now there is an item in this dungeon we are going to get, but we're not going to do the main mission here just yet. The reason why we need this item is because we need it to get into the next big area, which is Ikana. And of course we also needed to get into the dungeon of this area, but still. Actually, I'll put Zoro's mask down there. Press down this little buddy. side, make sure you turn back to Zora. If you buy a map from Tingle of this place, of the Great Bay, um, you'll have white dots on it that will tell you where the pirates are. Um, another change they made, they made to this game, um, in the 3DS version, there's a guy that you have to meet in order to get one of the masks. Um, they actually put him in, in this dungeon, so that way you can use the mask he gives you in this dungeon. Reason being, uh, spoiler alert, it's the stone mask. The stone mask will let you just sneak by these, these pirates undetected. AKA completely walk past them without them telling you halt. So. Alright, time to go over here. There's a switch down here that opens that gate. In that gate is a piece of heart. You can press this one to get back out. Don't do that. 
Yeah, another thing about Azora, you got boomerangs. You got boomerang fins. So use them to your advantage. No, not not the Goron game, not the Goron. climb up here. There is a telescope up here if you want to see where all the guards are. I already know where they are. So I'm not going to look through it. Speedrun strat. stone mask that I was talking about, he would usually be right under that tower. Um, but since we don't have it, we're going to need to be extra careful. Which means we gotta shoot some people. Oop. And come on. Oop. All right. Now they're only going to be down temporarily, so you gotta... Ah! Uh... All right. As you can see, they're only gonna be down temporarily, so you gotta make it quick. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. I'm just gonna go you, and then you. And climb up. And then be careful going up this thing. Make sure you look first, because there's a guard on this bridge. If you see her coming, go down a little bit, wait for her to pass. We gotta come in here, there's a little cutscene. Alright, so that was just exposition on 
where the, uh, the Zora eggs are. Um, so she said that there's four of them in the sort in the fortress, and there's three of them out somewhere else. Those three are in Pinnacle Rock, but we'll do that later. What you want to do? So you saw that wasp at the very beginning. Oh, I'm so used to that. The wasp at the very beginning goes into that nest, and of course, everybody doesn't want to be near a wasp. Why do I keep putting that mask on? Oh, it's because I'm playing. I'm playing games that have the camera set to the R stick, so I keep trying to move the camera like that. Alright, and in here... It's the hook shot! Yeah, buddy. So now we can hook onto those targets, or... wooden stuff as we please but that's all we needed we needed to do here right now so we're just gonna go ahead and head out um, the quickest way from here is to get caught by a guard hey there how's it going beautiful night out here isn't it All right, bye. I guess we need to put this one. And we're done there. All right, next thing that I want to do is since we have the hook shot, that'll help us get through Snowhead a lot easier. Um, but, there is something we can do in Snowhead that, well, first I'm gonna go get another owl statue, but there is something we can do in Snowhead, or in that region, that'll be a really big help to us later on. The only thing is, it's gonna take two whole in-game days to do. So, in order to make an efficient use of our time, we're going to need to find other stuff to do in order to um, in order to get some more stuff done. Now there are um, I am planning on fighting a boss or two um, because those can be done with those can be done with other, which call it, other other forms. Oh, no game, that one. Thank you. But yeah, we're also gonna have to go back to the first day in order to do that. Um, and I'm coming up on. Minutes, so I might end it off here. That guy was stuck in the ground. Okay. Whatever you want, buddy. Okay, so I'm going to warp the clock town um, so that we were safe. Okay. That way we won't be attacked by any enemies. But there are, there are a few things that we can do. Um, so next time we're probably just going to do a whole bunch of side stuff. Um, maybe fight a couple of bosses, a couple of mini bosses. Get the item of the Great Bay Dungeon. Um, I think about it. Yeah, because we're definitely going to need more. Oh, hi! Oh, hi, buddy. <laughs> um, we're definitely going to need more bottles. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> so 
So yeah, um, next time we're gonna do all that. Hope y'all enjoyed. Um, and I will see you then.